doing a really fun recipe that I actually found on Pinterest. We're going to be making healthy dessert nachos. Okay, here are all the ingredients that we're going to need. We've got two apples, organic apples. I got one Granny Smith and one, I think this is Fuji, but you can use whatever kind of apples that you like. I've got peanut butter, got some chocolate sprinkles, some toasted macadamia nuts, got some semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use whatever chocolate you want. You can use dark chocolate. It's a little bit healthier, lower in sugar. If you like that, you can use it instead. Some Greek yogurt and some raw honey. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is slice up our apples. The apples are gonna be like the base of our nachos, like what chips would be in real nachos. So I'm just gonna um, core them and slice them as thinly as I can to make nice little nacho slices. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is melt the peanut butter in the microwave for a few seconds just to make it a little runny. And then melt the semi-sweet chocolate chips also in the microwave so they get nice and melted and thin. And then I'm going to mix together the honey and the Greek yogurt to make another nice little drizzle for the nachos. Okay, so now I'm just going to arrange all my sliced apples on a plate in a nice little pattern. You just do it however you like. I like alternating the colors. It just looks cute. That until all your apples are on the plate. Okay, I'm just laying out the last few slices. Maybe you just head out one. Isn't this cute? This would be great for kids or if you have company over and you want to just do something fun. Because it's really easy, it's pretty much just assembling things but it looks really cute. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna drizzle on our toppings. All right, so now I'm going to drizzle on the toppings. I'm gonna to start with my melted peanut butter. I just melted it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Drizzle that on. Ooh. Apples and peanut butter make such a good combination. Next, I'm going to do the chocolate. Put that nice and melted down. Perfect. Drizzling. Oh man, this is starting to look so good already. yogurt mixture so I just stir together the yogurt with a little bit of honey and just a little bit of milk to thin it out just a tiny bit so that it can I'm gonna do a little more chocolate on top because I love chocolate. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit of extra toppings. I got the toasted macadamia nuts. Let's get a few of those for some crunch. And they have delicious flavor. off obviously but it's just kind of a fun little extra thing to do especially if you're gonna be serving this to kids all right there we have it doesn't that look so delicious okay this looks so good I can't wait to try it I could actually probably eat this whole thing by myself it's two apples but I feel like it's the kind of thing I could probably polish off on my own all right here we go oh my god that's so good. This is just such a cute idea because it's so simple. It's really just drizzling a bunch of stuff on top of the fruit, but you can do so many things with it. You can drizzle a million different things on top of it. It's super easy and it's a really good snack. Or a dessert, even better yet. And it's healthy, so what's better than that? Thank you, Pinterest. Hmm. Bro, 
how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. The button's right down there. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll have the links below for my blog, dashofsoul.com, and all my social media. Make sure that you follow me there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.